a winger with an eye for goal and pace. I've got, I've got just a man for you. Check him out. What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Stars of Tomorrow, an FM21 series of videos where we look at some young talent on the football manager and we see how the game records they'll get on and of course their careers to give you guys at home watching this uh, insight before you sign that player about the injuries, the fees, the, anything about that player that we can possibly see on the here. So if you're excited for this episode, don't forget down below there's a subscribe button down there. And that the, get, it, get it hit, come on, we can do it. And if you can get... Also, can we smash the like button? Can we get ten likes on this video? Come on, we could we could do we could do that. We can get to, we can get ten likes. On, we, we, we can get ten likes on this video. I know, I'm sure we can do that. So, also, if you want to get your a player featured on this series, do two two things. One, check the playlist, make sure he's not been done already, and then get in my Discord. And there's a section there where you can tag me in there and give me that player that you want me to look at on the series, and I'll reply to you and keep updated when updated when it's gonna go live. So don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe as well for daily FM content on this channel. Twitch live as well on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And obviously Saturdays when, if I miss a stream or I've got a lot of extra free time to do a stream on that day. So today's player is Yerim Pino. Yerim, just sorry, Yerim Pino. A young Spanish winger at Villarreal with a £5 million start of the game. Now, unfortunately, I think if I remember correctly, yes, he signed your contract at this point. So you can't sign him on day one. So that makes, that's unfortunate. But you can get him for £27 million on a release clause. So that is awesome to see. So uh, right now, we're going to quickly just jump into a section where we can look at, look at his scout report and see what the pros and cons are of him. So by the magic of FM, like an art attack, here's what I made earlier. We've scouted this guy with a scout report from Manchester United. It's just the way I do things, guys, on here. It's just consistently same team, same scout reports. Obviously, every scout and team different, that kind of thing, and range different as well. So... Currently, the, he reckons, again, I'll get the actual scout report on this here so you can see it better. My my webcam covers the area that is on, is on that screen. So, he's got two and a half star current ability, potentially three and a half, maybe four and a half. Um, he's got, he's now injured pronus. That's something to keep an eye on. We do check that anyway, but that's something that's the first time we've seen that in a while on his reviews. Um, very susceptible to injuries. Spirited, can, yeah, that's well, can adapt well in the country. Natural intuitions, we, we saw that as well. Very consistent as well. So look at the development here on the tactic screen here. He's very strong and very strong on his left and right foot. So that's good. I would argue, basically two-footed. Play either side, which I think is good. I like that. That means that you're getting a quite versatile player, which you know I like. You know I'm a fan of that on uh, my series. Um, let's look at his stats overall. So obviously standing out here is a dribbling and his techniques. They jump out of the screen, though not completely, um, to see their main attributes. Fairly determined, good vision. The physicality, not bad as well. That will obviously, you know, obviously will increase as he gets older. Like I said, though, he, he can't get him in the first season, but he's got a £27 million lease clause in his contract. So, bear that in mind, you might be able to, if you can if you can quickly get at it quickly, before he maybe, maybe renews his contract or something like that, you may be able to get him a decent fee as well. So, let's go for the first jump, folks, and let's see what it's like in about three or four years' time. Right, folks, he's now 29 years, 29, no, he's not, he's 29 million pounds, 0.5 worth, 20 years old. Um, and straight away, you can see the, attri the attributes we saw at the start of the review are basically the same ones I've increased at the moment. You've got 15 pace, 16 agility, 16 balance, 15 acceleration. I can't talk this quick, even though I'm good at doing it usually. Um, 16 technique, 16 vision. Vision is brilliant. I love that in a, in a player. I love, love seeing that with technique and passing being good as well. Um, dribbling 16, no player traits on him at the moment still. Um, how much is his release clause now? There we go. That's what I, was, that's what I thought would happen. He started your contract in 2021 after the summer. So, this is okay, it's only one scenario. Every save is different, of course. But you can, I would say, if you're going to sign this guy, try and get him as quick as you can because they do seem to want to renew their contract. Now, it might be a simple matter of you declare interest in him and they are scouting and they knew it anyway. But if you can work it, so you really, really kind of um, lay on thick on him to try and sign him, he might reject the new contract because he's interested in going to you, especially if you're one of the elite clubs in world football. So just bear that in mind. If you want, if you want to get him signed, get him signed quick because that new clause looks like they renew it and take it, take it out of there. So he did say in his review that he was injury prone. 
Based on his early years, I'd say that's not true. He's not so far anyway. There's nothing there that's concerning me overall with his injury record. So look at the career stats here at, at uh, Villarreal. We've, we've got first season form three. Then obviously um, in next season, he got seven and two. This year though, 12 and nine in La Liga, which is pretty good um, for a guy who's what? 20 years old, getting 12 goals and 9 assists. What, what's that? 22, is it? I think I'm wrong. Or oh, 21. Whatever. Um, it's roughly that figure. I'm not good at maths. Uh, so, I think this guy's a really good player. Obviously, if you're getting cheaper, even better. Uh, who wants him right now? Yeah. Chelsea, City, Tottenham, Man United. All want to sign this dude. So, bear that in mind. So, Let's go, folks. Next jump. Let's see what happens. All right, folks. He's now gone to Chelsea. I had to hesitate then for a second then. And basically, the stats are basically say the same. Uh, the main main ones, obviously, maybe going up by one. Um, one's the balls on the right-hand side, which is new trait. Still natural, in two, still natural in both positions. Now, the key thing is injuries. All right. So, we've got one major injury for seven months, which is a crucial ligament injury in training. But apart from that, I don't think he's injured. I don't, I don't. I wouldn't say this is injury prone. For me personally, it's a lot of them, but like two days, three days, nine days maximum there. So, and twelve, and twelve near that near, near the top here. Not an issue for me. That's not saying to me that he's injury prone. Now, obviously, maybe he's got lucky in this save. Maybe that's the case. Simply the case. So, as you can see, here we've got um, seven and two. Then he got twelve and nine. Seventy-three million pound. Like I said again, I stress this. Get this guy bought before the release clause gets taken out and all not taken out but upgraded because clearly they do. I'm, I'm assuming they will be doing yours as well. So seven and two first season in the Premier League, then eleven and fourteen, thirteen and four, then twelve and five. Do figures overall for both goals and assists or well, uh, together, but mainly goals. Uh, the double figures usually. This kid is good. Um, again. The big problem is the transfer fee. You've got to get that fee sorted out um, quickly because they do seem to want... They, they will obviously bank, bank on him being pretty good. And obviously, then you're talking about, well, that money there, 73 million pounds. So, no jump. Let's go. All right then. So, 28 years old now. Again, pretty stable. The only one we've seen increase here is anticipation of the 16. Um, overall, injury record again... I mean, I'm really glancing at it here because there's so many, but it's looking like many days, so I don't count that as injury prone unless they see that injury as injury prone. If that's the injury prone he's got, I'm down with that. Um, it's not that bad, I don't think, anyway. But again, maybe that's just been the injuries he's got have been quite light on hours. Maybe on your you know, other side, you could get more serious injuries. But, well, I'll show this kind of thing. So I always say with this kind of thing, injuries are kind of your... Uh, personal opinion on what you think and preference really so Chelsea where we get up to you got 13 and 4 then 12 and 5 7 and 4 16 and 8 14 and 11 12 and 5 consistently getting those goals and assists in the Premier League for Chelsea where is he playing for Chelsea I'm just curious where they're playing him they're playing on, on, on the right hand side um, has he been playing left at all he's been yeah right hand side mainly Again, I wouldn't be averse to playing on on the left if I had to. He's fairly strong on his right, very strong on his right foot, very strong on his left. So actually, think about it. He's playing on his, he's playing on the side, and he's maybe playing on his scoring with weaker foot. Um, he's playing right inside, inside forward. You may get more out of him. So I think you, either side's fine, really. I think that's one of the good side about him is he's ev evenly suitable for both sides of, of, of the pitch. Could you play with a striker? Yeah. You can even make him a striker, actually, to be fair, because the vision's not bad, the composure's good, uh, off the ball is not great, but good technique. You know what, you could make him a striker, but again, with, dribbling, with the dribbling and crossing, I would mini stick him on the wing. But anyway, one foul jump. Let's see if he can continue that goal and see if the call of double figures and see if he does it at Chelsea or elsewhere. All right, folks. So, again, pretty stable. Obviously, he's now 32 years old, so the pace is dropping down, obviously. Um, but I think it's a really nice gem, this guy. This is a player I've never heard of. I've never seen this guy. I just, I just basically simmed the head and try to find players. That's how I do it now, basically, guys. Because obviously, guys, you can you can still give me suggestions, but I do look ahead 
But when like three or four years and C looks like they're developing a little bit as a real player, then I then I sim the rest of it um, separately on my own on, on a different save. So injury record. Again, a lot of them, but a lot of them are slight injuries. So bear that in mind when it comes to getting this guy. So where do we get up to? 14 and 11, 12 and 5, 16 and 14, 11 and 4, 8 and 5, and 11 and 2. Pretty consistent. Nothing, not massive drop-offs. Mainly it's a level like this, and it goes up from there and then back down. To, it, it, it doesn't go like that, wavy. He's quite consistent with what he does. Um, plus size this guy can play both sides of the wing equally good on either foot has a good consistent record in terms of goals and assists could make him a striker if he wanted to later in his career when the pace is gone because the finish is there the pose is there uh, off the ball could work a little bit but it's not terrible fees low at the start of the game downside is don't get him early on the fee goes up and it's a massive fee to get him in the club but I still think it's worth looking at guys early in the game so yeah thank you for watching folks if you've enjoyed this episode I hope you have Hit the like button down below and subscribe as well for daily content and hit the, hit the notification button as well. Also, if you want to give your player a, a look at on here, in the Discord, there's a section there. You can tag me in there, get in there, give your suggestions, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.